Ay, ay, ay. Look at this. Atheist minister. She keeps her position after confidential settlement with United Church of Canada. All right. What? What are you talking about? What do you mean? This is an actual headline. It's been making news all over because it's not something that typically happens. But we see now that a standard is being established. We see that this could get into, uh, you know, this could open up doors or cans of worms, if I can say, uh, that can bring in lawsuits for any church that may have an apostate minister who decides to go, uh, you know, the devil's path and seeks to keep their position as a leader. And if you have a church, uh, whatever, you know, these churches have board of directors and I'm just, the board of directors for my ministry is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. There's no way, no way. Now, I'm, I, I don't want to make it sound like I'm judging for somebody or other ministries that have them. There's no way that man is going to dictate what is preached here because this is the result, okay? This foolishness. Okay, so let's talk about this for a second. Let me do something here real quick. I apologize. Um, yeah, uh-huh. Sister Ember says, atheist minister is an oxymoron. I'll just take out the oxy, you know? And it, you're right, it's an oxymoron. And it, it is, you know. Okay, let me do something here. I apologize. Thank you, Lord. God is good. I just want to say I love you. The Lord is good and his mercies endure forever. God is so good. Okay, so a United Church of Canada minister who declared that she does not believe in God. Check this out. Please, please, your undivided attention. If you didn't hear anything, which I don't know why, the only reason why you wouldn't have heard anything is because you just tuned in. A, a, a United Church of Canada minister who declared that she does not believe in God will be allowed to keep her position after reaching an agreement with church officials. The Canadian press reported last week that the settlement reached with the Reverend Greta Vosper of Toronto is confidential. Well, what part... <laughs> What, I mean, what did they offer her? We just got the worst news. What other part could be confidential? I can't imagine there's something worse than this, but maybe there is that they're keeping under wraps right now. Anyway, they reached a settlement with this woman by the name of Reverend Greta Vosper of Toronto. It's confidential, though both sides stated that they're pleased with it. The right Reverend Richard Baugh, who has led the United Church in Canada since July, pointed to the core values of faith in God and inclusiveness as part of the reason why Vosper will be allowed to continue her service. According to the church, they said the dance between these core values, how they interact with and inform each other, is one that we continue to explore as followers of Jesus and children of the Creator. As a Christian church. Okay, now here are the words that they're using. They're using Jesus. They're using followers of Jesus. They're using a Christian church. And they're still giving this woman the title of reverend. Okay? As a Christian church. This is the redefinition. Okay, this is, the, you know, please see the, you know, the devil in the details in this article. Okay? This is not a Christian church. These are not followers of Jesus Christ. There's no way... Dear God, okay, let me just, I'm going to be cool. Let me just focus on the head, uh, on the article, okay? As a Christian church, we continue to expect that ministers in the United Church of Canada will offer their leadership in accordance with our shared and agreed upon statements of faith. What do they think this woman who has come out as an atheist, meaning that she does not believe God even exists, she's become an enemy of God. There's a hatred that atheist has towards something or someone they claim doesn't even exist. But here they're claiming that this woman still can offer leadership in accordance with their statement of faith. What's their statement of faith? I don't even want to know. Whatever it is, it's a bunch of baloney. 
And you know what? I like bologna, but this one, I'm, you don't eat this junk, right? So here it says, Vosper, who was ordained in 1993 and has served West Hill United Church since 1997, has reportedly uh, for years been open about her lack of faith in God. Okay, let me just show you the woman again. Okay, according to the report, she has been open about her lack of faith in God. Typically, okay, if you're, listen, how can we have more respect for the companies of this world, okay? If you were hired as a salesman and, uh, you know, they gave you benefits, they gave you a salary, they said, come to work at this time, we expect you to do this job description, and as long as you do well, you're going to have your job, you're going to keep your job. And then suddenly, after six months or a year, the salesman comes in and says, you know what, I've decided uh, that I, I want to be, you know, president of the company. I'm going to be, I'm going to do, uh, you know, completely different position. I, I no longer uh, want to do a salesman, but I still want to be uh, here on the job, and I still want to have influence. As a matter of fact, I want to you know, be a leader, but I have no desire to do what you've called me to do and I, I'm, I'm, I'm coming against it as a matter of fact I've decided to team up with another company that is a rival company of yours and um, you know just keep me on this is what happened she's teamed up with the devil and they were okay with it okay th this is a foolishness of the hour this is the apostasy of the church in these last days Jesus said that there's going to be a great falling away. He said that he told us, he warned us about this. Jesus said that there's going to be false Christ and false prophets who are going to rise up and show signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the very elect. Now here may not seemingly be a sign or a wonder, but it is. It is because it's almost like you, 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 this is an audacity. It's like you have the nerve to do this. And be okay with it and accepting of it and the congregation's okay with it and it could become a new norm thus making it a sign and a wonder it says here vosper who was ordained in 1993 has served west hill united church again since 97. she reportedly for years has been open about her lack of faith in god listen if i hire you to work for me you, you better, you, you know, you got to have the job description. The moment you tell me you, you, you don't desire to do your job anymore, you got to go. I got to hire someone else who will. The moment she says she started to lack faith in God, you know, bring her into some counseling, find out what the issue is. But if she was staunch in her belief, she had to go. You had to get her out of the church. She says, listen, this is, this is just so ridiculous. She says that most of her congregants, this is the falling away. Okay, hear this. Most of her congregants have been supportive of her views. Though she attracted controversy following the Charlie Hebdo massacre in Paris in January 2015 after arguing uh, that belief in God can lead to bad actions. <laughs> what? Come on! All right. Following an investigation, the conference interview committee for the United Church's Toronto conference, uh, she said the Vosper was not suitable to continue as a minister. So that took a few years to figure that out. Uh, and according to the statement, it said, in our opinion... Now, this was the, the, uh, the uh, you know, the committee, the board of directors, uh, you know, decision at one time. Again, this was back in 2006, okay, or uh, not 2006, 2016. They said the following. They said, in our opinion, she is not suitable to continue uh, in ordained ministry because she does not believe in God. She does not believe in Jesus Christ. She does not believe in the Holy Spirit. This is a statement that came from the committee's majority at the time. But then they said, although the United Church of Canada is a big tent, welcoming a diversity of theological beliefs, Miss Vosper is so far from center of what holds us together as a United Church that we have concluded that she's not suitable to continue as an ordained minister in our church. Again, this was back in 2016, that statement was released. Following the agreement just last week, this Reverend Lady Vosper will not be allowed to continue ministering without restrictions. Without any restrictions. Now they say, however, or no, there's no however here. They said, it's going to be wonderful. This is what this woman said. After she not only, I guess, was reinstated, but now she's going to be free to preach something. What is she? She's not to preach the word. This is mind boggling. Again, this is becoming, this will become a new norm. The churches have opened themselves up to false Christ and false apostles. Now, now, okay, let me, let me show you something in the word of the Lord here. Okay. Uh, go with me very quickly to, um, uh, uh, second. No, no, I think it's first. Hold on. 
Go with me very quickly to 1 Corinthians. I hold on. I apologize. Please forgive me. Go with me very quickly to 2 Corinthians. Uh, chapter 11. Chapter 11. For verse 14. And I gotta read it in context. I gotta read it in context. Verse 13. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13 says the following, for such, as, uh, for such are false apostles. Okay, now this is the Apostle Paul speaking, being inspired by the Holy Spirit, speaking to the church of Corinth. And he says, for such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. And no wonder for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. That was at that time. And for the most part, it's been this whole time. But she's not doing that. I posted a um, post on our Facebook page. Um, on my Facebook page, um, I don't even know, three weeks ago, maybe a month now. And it said, what does it say? It said, it said, it says something to the effect that the devil doesn't even hide anymore and you still don't see him. The devil's not even hiding anymore and you still don't see him. Here, the Apostle Paul tells us that Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. She's not doing that. First, she was posing. Wolf in sheep's clothing. She took off the sheep's clothing. She's now full-blown wolf. And she was given a platform still. You know, here you go, lady. Here you go, reverend. Keep the title. Keep the pulpit. Keep the platform. Keep the congregation. Keep the church door open. Uh, you know, do your thing with no restrictions. That's insane. That is insanity. I am stunned. Okay, so it goes on to say, I'm just making a point here because they're not transforming themselves anymore. They, they're coming in straight as unbelievers they're coming in as demons okay now you know am i am i saying she's a demon no I mean, she's a woman but she's clearly being led by a demonic spirit that she's allowed to be deceived by and uh the church see this is why judgment is going to be again in the house of god okay because of this this falling away that's being allowed that's being allowed Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness. She's straight up said she doesn't believe in Jesus Christ. She doesn't believe in the Father. She doesn't believe in the Holy Ghost. She does not believe in the faith. She doesn't believe in God. She's an atheist. She doesn't have to transform herself. We're living in the last days. Are you saved? Are you born again? Please understand this is not Christianity. This is not the body of Christ. This is a false church. This is a false message. This is a false prophet. This is all false right here. Okay, please don't buy into the lie. Because right now, it seems shocking. This is, this is going to become normal. People like me are going to be uh, even more severely persecuted by saying, oh, you know, don't you know God has evolved in his position? And now they're going to open up the church before we know it to atheists, to Satanists, to Wiccans, to New Agers. Now, they are already, but they're still coming in as uh you know uh you know ministers of righteousness but you know they transform themselves into that even though they're they're you know they're you know they're false but they're not going to need to do that because of this 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 has now set a standard and it's not just in canada this is going to be around the world i don't even know how much further i want to i want to read this um it says here yeah this is this is stupid she got her lawyer. It says here, it's going to be wonderful. We're, we're, you know, we'll be out from underneath a heavy cloud. We'll be able to really fly. Her lawyer confirmed that the atheist minister is no longer at risk of sanctions by the church. Both parties took a long look at the cost benefit of running a heresy trial and whether it was good for anyone and the results speak for themselves, the lawyer said. They recognize there's a place for Greta and that there's no reason to separate the minister and the congregation. There's a place for her, but it's not behind the pulpit. 
It's in repentance. And if she refuses to repent, if she is staunch in her position, the place for her is out the church. Listen, somebody may say, oh, that's rough, that's tough, but that's what the Word of God tells us. The Word of the Lord tells us that, it, 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 you, know, we have to, you know, we have to judge with righteous judgment. We have to spare the church. We're told that a little leaven leavens a whole lump. This is a major, major lump. 